You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN. And now back to our sports show and the game of the week, now in its 25th year. This week, the Galt Warriors battle the Amador Buffaloes at Amador High School with TSPN sportscasters Jim Vinciguerra and Frank Halverson. And on camera is TSPN's cameraman, Tommy Fox. And now back to the game of the week on TSPN. 34-6, uh, just a blowout so far by the Amador Buffs here tonight in TSPN's Game of the Week in its 25th year, and the Buffs are playing the Galt Warriors. Third quarter of the Game of the Week is proudly brought to you by the American Legion Amador Post 108. Proud to be involved in our community, the local Legion Post is directly involved in American Legion Baseball, Boys and Girls State, and National Scholarships for High School Students. First aid training for local students scouting programs for boys and girls, patriotic holidays, observances, and, of course, the American Legion Ambulance Service for all of Amador and Calaveras counties. American Legion, Amador Post 108, veterans still serving America. Well, for those of you that are interested, uh, Colin Campbell, the iconic uh, uh, clock keeper for Amador over here for I don't even know how many years, was shared with me the new uh, Mercy Rules for high school. We'll share that with you in a minute. Opening kickoff goes to number one. That's Ramirez. Dropped on about the 30-yard line. Well, about the 26, 26 it looks like. Uh, number one. Yeah. Anyway, the mercy rule this year in high school is any time the game there's a lead by 35 or more points in the third quarter, as long as it's agreed upon by both coaches, they can go to a running clock. It has to be agreed on by both coaches. Once you get into the fourth quarter, any lead by 35 points or more automatically triggers a running clock. That running clock stays going for the rest of the game, regardless of the score change. So we'll keep an eye on that right now with 34-6. to six. We're getting close to that mark, and we'll see how it progresses. All right, here we go. First and ten for the Galt Warriors. Oh, it looked another, like another fumble by another Papalona. Just, just snap. Just really having a hard time getting that exchange. Again, if you're just joining us, Papalona is the sophomore quarterback. Uh, number seven, their starting quarterback, Whitley, was uh, unable to answer the call with a concussion, supposedly, last two weeks ago. So we've got a sophomore quarterback, and that's about all they've got in the quarterback position. Yeah, they've really had a difficult time. The continuity... And the timing of this offense has really, really been a problem for them all night light, all night long. Delayed game calls, procedure calls. Just hard for everybody to get on the same page here. So they're really struggling at this point. We got a oh, equipment repair here. That's another rule that it, that that is all the way down to the high school level this year that if a, a player's helmet comes off, the player has to come off the field and sit out a play. They're really trying to make sure that these kids have their, their chin straps properly adjusted, have them strapped up, and that's the penalty now. Uh, other than getting it ripped off by a defensive player or an offensive player, you have to go out and sit out a play any time that your helmet comes off on the playing field. Nea with the ball. We've got another down player on the 15-yard, 20-yard line over there. So we're going to get an injury timeout right now. Zach Wilsey, I think it's the first time we've called his name tonight, number 70 in on the play for the Buffs. We're going to uh, bow out on this uh, referee's timeout and be back uh, with an update. Stay tuned. All right, back after that injury timeout. And let me tell you, that injury timeout was number 12, Papalona, the sophomore quarterback. Let's just see who's going to be at quarterback now. We'll give you a number. Number 80, and that's Welcher, Dillon, the wide receiver. Knee on the handoff, inside handoff. and uh, it Stood up at the line of scrimmage. You know, now that you've got a third quarterback in there who's actually listed on the roster as a wide receiver and a defensive back, you could pretty much expect, expect for them to snap the ball in hand in the uh, um, oh, yeah. And, and just keep the, clock, let, let the, keep quarter, the clock going. Let the quarterback run it. Anyway, all for not fourth down and ten right now, so back deep is going to be probably... Well, probably White, and, uh, number uh, 22, along Johnson. with Clinton Johnson, number 21 for the Buffs. 
And uh, end over end punt. Good bounce. And right, bounce out. out of bounds about the 41 yard line. It looks like where Amateur is going to take over. Okay, so let's see what we've got for Amador. Still the starters in. Looks well, like White, Sweet, White's out. White. White is out. Griffin still. Uh, Quentin Johnson, Shane Sweet, and Nichols. Quarterback is Griffin. Griffin is still a quarterback. Thomas splitting out wide to the left, our side of the field. Give straight ahead to Nichols, that that, I believe. That was the play he made the big gainer on right there, 33, Nichols. Boy, he put a pretty good pounding there on the defenser that made that tackle. Number that's four, Naya. that's Naya. Um, but I'm not too sure that the tackle E didn't get a better shot than the tackle Er. <laughs> so nice gain on the play of about nine. Going to make it second and a long one. Inside Paul hand, fumble. down. That was dropped. I think Galt got the football. Dropped by Johnson. Yeah, it was an inside handoff, trying to give it to Johnson. And uh, just the ball came in a little low and it hit, hit right below his hands, knocked to the ground, and the Galt defender fell on it for a uh, uh, turnover. That defender, number 58, was uh, Clement, Mark Clement for the Warriors. So they take over the best field position they've had in a long time, right at the 50-yard line. So let's see if uh, Paplona is back in or if Welcher is going to remain at quarterback. Looks like Welcher. And he's going to take a snap right behind center. No shotgun here. Nian, oh, well, just about dropped it. Yeah, had a hard time grabbing. He pulled out a little bit earlier, and all he could do was just get forward and grab it again and just keep trying to go forward. He looked like he's going to pick up. I'll give him two uh, second maybe eight. Maybe two. All right, here we go. Second down. Dropped it again, it looked like. Yep. Fumbled ahead. I Hopefully think, he recovered it. I think he got it back, and I think maybe he picked up another yard or two. Boy, oh boy. Eight minutes left in the third quarter. If you're just joining us again, 34-6. Buffalo's on top by a big score here at uh, Amador tonight. Somebody yelling What's at Bobby it? Creech, get that ball, Bobby, get that ball. <laughs> I don't know who it is. I can hear him over on our right side there. Another fumble picked up and a gain. First, First down. down. <laughs> well, they've so run that play three times in a row. Maybe it's designed. <laughs> three, three and a half yard average gets your first down every time. Oh, geez, we got another golf player hobbling. Looks like number 50. Yeah, he's not coming out. They're running out of warm bodies over there. You know, it's just a wonder, Frankie. And this is preseason when they get into the league. I wonder, you know, the chances of people getting hurt. That looks like Ortiz, Alex Ortiz. It's limping there, the right guard. Shotgun formation. Drop. Uh-oh, another fumble. That one's on the ground. Nia fell on that one. And, oh. And he got a guy down again here. Well, now he's back up. 61. That's Ochoa. I think if this was a fight, they'd stop it. <laughs> and what are you going to do? 
you got a feel for that team. I, you know, you really got a feel for that. Well, you, you, guys you, are out there you hate to it. see yeah. uh, uh, young athletes out there struggling like this. And, and you, it, it's this game is hard enough, and and to the, the adversity and stuff. You know, a lot of life lessons that you teach, and and they they continue to try to battle under some very adverse conditions. A low snap, knee has got it, pulls it forward for a gain. Looks like about five yards on the play. But, Frank, they've got eight other games on that schedule to play. Of course, I guess you can bring up sophomores. That's what they've probably done already. You know, they've got a handful of them on that team right now. Yeah, that JV team is pretty thin, too. They do not have a lot of players. And, you know, I think there's a program uh, program problem there with, with a high school that has a 1,000 student enrollment, and you cannot fill a football team more than 14, 18 players. So... You know, it's something that you got to build on. As Coach Baker has been trying to do that for the last three, four years since he's taken over the program. And it just takes time. Whoa, wide oh, open. Nia complete down to the 15-yard line. And I'll tell you, Pamplona's back in, number 12. He's the one that threw it. we got another player down. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN. Student enrollment, and you cannot fill a football team more than 14, 18 players. So, you know, it's something that you got to build on. As Coach Baker has been trying to do that for the last three, four years since he's taken over the program, and it just takes time. Whoa! Oh, wide open. Nia complete down to the 15-yard line. And I'll tell you, Pamplona's back in, number 12. He's the one that threw it. We got another player down. <laughs> his, his, trying to pick his him guys up. want to pick him up, but he's saying, no, no, there. leave me there. I want to stay here for a minute. Uh, 58 motions. Looks like he's hurt. So. Well, 63 out there is limping. I mean... <laughs> we're going to take, take a medical time out here, and we'll be back. Yeah. Frank, we're back after that medical time out. That was Ochoa, 61. He's been down three or four times tonight, and I think he might be out for the out for the count. He's not. Well, I think there was another player, another sophomore that was pulled up uh, to help out this uh, this roster. Finally, the the Galt team is down in scoring position on the 15 yard line. They haven't been down here all night. Nia. Oh, nice little dipsy doodle move. He dipped inside with that right shoulder, then tried to take it out wide. Buffaloes did a nice job stringing that out for a short gain of about two. That little dip move is uh, a lot of times very successful for a running back as it collapses that defense, then pops outside. But Amador did a good job in pursuit there and not biting into that. All right, second down and about nine for the Warriors. Oh, boy. Nice play by 54. number 44, Dylan Lanier. Kenny Williams also in on that number 54. Nice job by Lanier there. Really did a nice job on reading. Got his read, shot through the hole, cut that play off in the backfield before it had anywhere to go. Nice job by Lanier. So it brings up third down and long, third to about 14. Boy, there's an interesting formation right there. And the, uh, oh, another fumble. Pablona picks it up, rolling to his right. Wide open. Down to the, about the 10-yard line. Yeah, well short of the first down, though. It's going to bring up a fourth down. Another fumble on the snap. Pablona did a nice job of picking it back up, rolling to his right and completing a little out pass there. So it looks like fourth and call it, what, six? Mm -hmm. And they definitely are going to go for it. Papalona at quarterback. 
Oh, no. The ball was popped loose. I think Amber Another, another fumble. It doesn't matter. It's turned over on downs at this point. That's true. They did recover, though. So, Amador takes over. First down on about the 10-yard line or so, 11-yard line. Let's make it the 10. First and 10. What's the score? Okay. Still at quarterback. Now we got an amateur player limping off. That's number one, Ch Chance Dominguez. Is it Chase, Chance Dominguez? They turn the ball right back over. I wasn't and paying attention. I would have turned we the ball right back over to golf. We were checking some scores <laughs> here. We got to pay attention. One of us at least has to. So the Warriors come out. Excellent field position. You're the play. You're the play-by-play. -play. I'm just the color, man. You're the color. That, that, you that allows me that to take a little time off. Come on. There was color on the floor there. Okay, Naya, straight ahead. Dropped by number 33. Nichols. Quick third quarter here. Yeah, 225 left in the third. <clears throat> Oh, a oh, reverse. Look at this. Going the other way. Oh, first got down. a first down. That reverse looked like did that number 28. 28? Was that Garrett Blackwell? Uh-huh, Blackwell. So, first and goal, and the ball sits on about the five. Here comes Nia. Smelling that goal line. Well, he got down close. I don't think he quite got in, but he's going to be down about the one. Okay, the ball sits uh, maybe the two-yard line, it looks like, Frank. Oh, I think it's right watch, at the one. Watch Nia right here. Oh, no, Fumble. he dropped it. Ball came loose down to about the 10-yard line. I, I think, think Galt, it. I think Galt kept the possession, but, boy, that really pushed him back and is going to make it uh, third down now and goal from the 10. All right, here we go. Third down. Pass play. Why? Oh, we've got it. Yeah, that had to be a flag there. Wow, here's another late flag. I tell you what, 21, uh, Quentin Johnson just leveled Naya, and he was the intended receiver, who was quite in the opening. He just came back and uh, got his block knocked off. So that'll be a major here. Pass interference. Got to make a decision here, folks. There we go. Pass interference, Amador. They're going to march it off. Goes from the 10 down to the 5. 
halfway to the goal line. Third down, first down, automatic, and we're going to take it from the five yard line with the Warriors at the ball. Well, if they don't fumble the ball, they might Got a have chance. a chance to score. Uh oh. Well, Pat Plona's Pat got a hold of it. Wants to take it in himself, and he's down there a little bit closer. I'm not sure that was a play call, but you know, when he turned around, the back was already gone. I think he lost a little bit. It's going to be second down. No, the ball was at the five, so he gained two and a half. The ball's sitting on the two-yard line. Yeah. Okay, we're going to end the third quarter right there, and that third quarter of the game of the week has been proudly brought to you by the American Legion Post 108. Proud to be involved in our community. The local Legion Post is directly involved in the American Legion baseball teams, boys and girls states, and national scholarships for high school students. Also, first aid training for local students, scouting programs for boys and girls, patriotic holiday observances, and, of course, the American Legion Post 108 ambulance service for Amador and Calaveras counties. American Legion Post 108, veterans still serving America. Stay tuned. Fourth quarter coming at you. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN.